Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I've got the great pleasure here of being on the Bangladesh Pavilion, uh, here with uh, three gentlemen from the Bangladesh delegation. Digital Bangladesh is changing life with a digital touch, and we're going to find out uh, all about it. Uh, first, uh, I'd like to speak to Mr. Yahurul Hake, who is uh, uh, chairman of the Bangladesh Telecommunication Regulatory Commission. Uh, Mr. Hake, thank you very much indeed for being with us. And I'd like to start off by asking you, what is the value for you of events such as ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban. Thank you for the question. It's a great achievement for Bangladesh to attend this digital period and 2018 ITU digital world. Bangladesh now improve a lot and Bangladesh achieves a goal of all international index first, second, third, fourth in ETC and Bangladesh is doing much better than any other and Bangladesh forms a digital Bangladesh first. Could you uh, share with us a little bit uh, some of Bangladesh's experiences on a regulatory framework? Yes, regulatory, um, Bangladesh had have a very good regulatory framework and telecommunication. You know, in 2001, with the help of government, Bangladesh parliament passed an act by which Telecommunication Regulatory Commission is formed. It's the statutory body in our constitution provides, statutory body is a part of the state. So, as part of state, Bangladesh Tele Telecommunication Regulatory Commission doing a match for the nation, for interest of people, for quality of service. Among, and they are doing for the um, uh, interest of also business holders, though who can earn. And as part of state, he earns a lot revenue for the interest of state and government and for the interest of people also. I'm also joined here by uh, Dr. Shah Jahan Mahmood, who is uh, chairman of the uh, Bangladesh Com uh, Communication Satellite Company Limited. And I'd like to start off by uh, talking about the fact you just launched uh, Bangladesh's first national communication satellite. What do you expect its impact to be? Uh, thank you for this question. Uh, we have, this is basically a satellite company, satellite, uh, communication satellite. Uh, we have about 40 television stations. Uh, we'll be providing bandwidth to these stations, and then besides that, we'll be providing DTH, distant learning, and it will be also used as a backhaul of the uh, telecom services. And in the disaster times, it will be used as a replacement of the uh, terrestrial or local television or telephone services. And uh, we have about 40 transponders, and we'll be using 20 for our own service and then we'll be selling the next, uh, the other 20 to the foreign people, to the foreign countries. So uh, we save uh, some foreign exchange by using our own satellite and also we'll be earning some uh, foreign exchange by selling those transponders to other countries. Right, and what's the role of government in driving digital connectivity as successfully as in Bangladesh? Yeah. Bangladesh government is determined to provide internet services, broadband internet services to each and every citizen by 2021. For this, you know, uh, we are uh, laying fiber optical cable throughout the whole country. Almost 80% of the country is covered by fiber optical cables. And, but there are also some regions uh, where the fiber optical cables are not economical to take or the, the companies will not take there. So to, to close this digital divide, we are using satellites. Very recently, we'll be providing services to 32 distant islands where the fiber optical cables cannot be taken. And we'll be using the uh, satellite services to connect them, to provide them internet connectivity and other services. That's wonderful, Mr. Mahmood. Thank you very much indeed. And finally, we've got here Mr. Anir Chowdhury, who's Policy Advisor for Access to Information Project for the Prime Minister's Office. Uh, Mr. Chowdhury, I'd like to ask you, what does smart digital development mean to you and how is Bangladesh working towards it? Thank you. Smart digital development to us really means providing the right services to the right people at the right time and at the right place. Uh, to a student, it means connectivity to improve education. To a farmer, it means connectivity to improve market access. Uh, to a widow, it means connectivity to provide social safety net at the right time uh, without having to travel much distance. And that's exactly what Bangladesh is doing using the digital Bangladesh agenda of the government uh, proclaimed by our Honorable Prime Minister. Wonderful. And what single innovation or innovative technology, product, strategy or policy do you think will be most transformative? 
We have seen a number of transformative technologies in the world in the last few years, but I think the one that will really take us by storm is artificial intelligence. And we are trying to use that in public service delivery to improve education in various places where there is teacher shortage, uh, using our teachers portal, which hosts about 350,000 teachers, but they learn from each other using artificial intelligence. We're using uh, uh, a smart uh, uh, agriculture portal where uh, farmers and extension workers are actually connected through it, and uh, the automated system actually provides a lot of information on agricultural inputs. Uh, but at the same time, artificial intelligence uh, provides uh, a lot of danger to our job market. Creates a lot of uh, danger to our job market uh, as, as, as much as opportunities. So we're seeing a lot of uh, job loss that's already happening through automation in the manufacturing sector, also in the service sector. So as we apply the inevitable artificial intelligence in our uh, uh, service provision, we have to be very judicious about using the right uh, decisions uh, for creating more opportunities and making sure that the dangers are avoided. Thank you. Mr. Chowdhury, uh, Mr. Mahmood, Mr. Hock, thank, thank you very much indeed for being with us. And uh, please uh, check out our other videos out on the ITU YouTube channel and our podcasts on the ITU SoundCloud channel too. Thank you. Thank you.